Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about the 10 step Korean beauty or the Korean beauty 10 step routine. Um, and I wanted to show you all the products that I'm using, which I you might be able to see on the camera. I don't have my special camera that I can see the screen on, but let's get started. So it's a lot of stuff. So recently, I actually only did two things, which was wash my face and then put moisturizer on. And that the reason why I cut it down was just because it was just taking so long at you know, just getting ready for bed. So I ended up cutting out everything. Um, and even though these 10 steps are part of the Korean beauty 10 step blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna say blah, blah, because it's just, it's just a mouthful. So anyways, um, I don't always use all 10 of them. I think I've never done all 10 of them at once just because that's just so much product on my face. But I'm trying to do most of them on most days and just seeing how that goes. And we'll see. I kind of want to add in certain products one at a time just because I noticed that when I use all of them too much, it's too many new products for my face. So I want to test out to see if I have a reaction to any of them um, to keep them all. But most of them, half of them are not new and half of them are. So let's get to it just because there is so many stuff. So the first one, number one, is a cleansing oil. And I actually have another video because I was obsessed with cleansing oils for the longest time. But then I kind of stopped. And then lately, I don't know because, I don't know if it's because the 10 step Korean beauty thing. But I just noticed there's so much more cleansing oil now to choose from in the drugstore. So this is one. I had tried Burt's Bee recently, but I didn't like the scent. And cleansing oil, the scent tend to linger on your face a little bit longer than other face wash. So anyways, I super like this one and this is the one I currently am using. This does not do anything to my face. Like it doesn't make me break out. I think I do have sensitive skin because sometimes I do break out for certain like products. It like makes my face, it like burns my face, but I sometimes don't know which one it is. And a lot of time it's because it's the anti-aging product. So yeah, we'll see. I'll update you guys on that. So the next one, number two, is like foam foam cleanser or just water-based cleanser and how do you know which one is a water-based cleanser it's safe to say that a lot of foam ones are and I don't know if some of them are not but basically it's very light cleanser so I'm trying this one uh, I'm gonna have to see if this one breaks up my face I used a lot already but I love this so I hope it doesn't I don't think so but I don't know if, it's, if it's, there's a lot of combination oh so hard to talk right now um, but anyways, uh, just because I'm using a lot of combination, I don't know if there's any particular product that is not good for my face, but I really love this. Before, I didn't like foam cleanser just because I'm like, oh, it's just foam, it doesn't really do anything. But if I already clean my face with something else and then you have to clean yourself, not yourself, but your face again with some, another thing after this, I just started to really like foam cleanser. So anyways, I bought this, smells super good. One pump is enough, one pump covers your whole face and the foam is super thick, almost like mousse, but still foam. So love that, that one I believe is also a Korean one. The third step is um, exfoliating. I don't always like to exfoliate. I used to exfoli- uh, uh, I'm not gonna edit this video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start over. I used to exfoliate a lot daily, once a day with my Clarisonic, but then again, it's just too much work right now and I have to switch out the brush head so I'm not using it at the moment. But this works really well just because they're super little teeny tiny, like I feel like very, 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 very tiny, small, micro, very, very, it is this micro, but um, exfoliating, not beads because they're not allowed that anymore. But I super love this. I had this a long time ago. Um, I thought it was bad. I thought the scent was bad, but it turns out that when they shipped it to me, I think the product was just old, so it smelled really bad, and I just thought that's what it smelled like because the store smelled like that too, but people keep opening the one from the store. Anyways, this one smells citrusy, like almost orange-like, and my little sister also liked it too uh, because I had given her, I purchased one for her, and she said it's disgusting, and I was like, I know, <laughs> but I like the product. Anyways, that was a long story, but this one works, so I use this as the exfoliator. 
The fourth step is toner. So I did used to use toner quite a lot just because I like the refreshingness on my face. I'm using Andalo and this reminded me of back in the days, not back in the days, back last year some time ago when I had used the, I think it's Whole Foods Beauty makeup bag. Um, and Andalou was on there, so yeah, I wanted to try their toner. I do like it. Um, the fourth is one, two, three, four, five. The fifth one is Essence, and I was like, what the heck is Essence? I didn't know what that is. Um, it's kind of like a water-based moisturizer, in my opinion. Um, and I didn't know I already had Essence because I had bought this as part of a set, and this is the Belief Essence because it says, Hungarian water essence <laughs> But I really really like this product because it really sinks into your skin really fast And I used to use this before makeup just because I do want my face to be moisturized But I don't want like the thick moisturizer. So I use this um, Sometime in face masks when you have too much liquid left over which I have talked about in my other video of face mask um, It's not face mask sheet mask Gotta get that down. I use this as part of Essence just because it's the same property, I feel like. It moisturizes your face, but it's very liquid and watery, so it feels like water lotion almost, or water moisturizer. So that's five. No, six. One, two, three, four, five. Five is Essence. Six is treatments, serum, etc. So I have two different ones. And you guys also know I love oils. Um, I have another video of oils a long time ago. I used them all and I haven't really want to buy another oil just because I didn't like absolutely love and was like passionate about any of them. But now I feel so strongly about this one. This is Lancome. Um, this is the Benefit Multivital and it's just daily, re daily, re <laughs> daily replenishing, daily replenishing. Why can't I say that word? Replenishing. There you go. Okay, oil. Um, and it smells so good. Doesn't feel oily. It's just amazing. So I love, love, love this product so, so much. Um, and it doesn't react with any of my other products. So super love that. This one I just bought. I'm not sure if I will have a reaction to this just because I used it a little bit and I can't tell if I do. So we'll have to see about that. This is Kiehl's. I never had anything of Kiehl's before. So this would be in the serum treatment section as well. But yeah. And then number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is face mask, which I have a whole video on face mask, which I will link unless I did it already in my video. Um, eight is eye cream. So again, this was in a set. This is the Belief Eye Cream. I had other ones too, Caudalie, which I really do love Caudalie, but I have this one because it was in the set again. Um, and I'm almost technically all done with that. And this one I just got for free uh, when I bought the Long Cup one. So yeah, I actually really like this one too. And number nine is moisturizer. So this is my moisturizer. I usually like to use this at night because it's so thick, but I really love it. This is like a full bottle after I try a trial one. And I never buy a full bottle of any trial I have, but because I love this so much, I bought the whole full bottle. And the last one is SPFs, which I'm going to try to wear a lot more. It's just really hard to to wear SPF on top of moisturizer just because that's so much crap on your face. But anyways, I do use this. I love this. This is Lancome. It's another trial size because I bought other Lancome stuff. I absolutely love it. I would use it in replace of moisturizer just because sometimes I put it on top and this actually works for that. So I really like it. That's a whole load of stuff and a lot of mistakes that is not going to be edited. <laughs> Um, but anyways, that's everything and I would probably review them in depth some other time after I finish them but so far I like a lot of them and I already briefly told you about the ones that I really love. So anyways, that's all. Let me know if you have any other products or if you're doing the 10 step. Does it work for you? Does it not work for you? And yeah, that's all. Subscribe down below. Thumbs up if you like this video in any way. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.